Hello and welcome back to my podcast. This is podcast number 10, book number 10. Right now, I actually have 10 followers, 10 books and 10 followers. I'm really happy about that. I appreciate everyone who's listening to this. I know that SoundCloud, maybe it's about songs and so on, but I want to spread uh, books and knowledge. My goal is to make a thousand books. It might take, it might take me, I think, about three years. Uh, I hope that I make a book every day that by the end of this year, or I just take one year to make 365 books. Um, I hope that I have millions of people listening to this, and I hope that you go this journey with me. So thank you for all the support. So today I have uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. This is an old book. It was, it was written in 1936. The first book that, I ever, that I've ever read. I had this book when I was young. And when I read it, I, I actually did not like it. I just throw it and I was like, nope, there are no such people that deserve to be treated this way. When I was young, I, I had, you know, different opinions about people. I, I did not see people as, you know, necessary to, to have in, in your life to be successful and so on. I, I thought this book is a fantasy. To be honest, I thought like n no such people should be treated like this. This is just so like utopia, so amazing and fabulous and so on. But as I grew older, I realized that I, I, I should be more kind, actually. I, I realized that my behavior, my ego, my uh, thoughts and my opinions about, about myself are a big block in, in my, uh, my career, my dealing with people, my humility. I realized that half intelligence with humility is more important and better than genius with ego and people uh, the person who respects and appreciates and value them and uh, you can make friends by being you know down to earth and have modesty and humility so uh, there are a lot of principles from this book is it's uh, it's a really old book but it works today just as it was in the past so let's kind of like summarize it in in a couple of points let's have 10 points First point is to give people a fine reputation to live up to. Uh, it's a very important point. When you trust people and you literally tell them, I believe in you, this is so powerful. You did not believe, uh, you cannot believe the power of this statement for a teacher, for example, to tell you, you are going to be great one day. I remember a teacher specifically told me, you know, you, you are like a diamond. You, if you work hard on yourself, you are going to be like diamond. I remember this word and, and uh, you know, till today, I'm still working really hard to, to, to live up to this. Uh, the comedian Bill Burr said recently that he was, you know, so depressed and sad, did not make any gigs and so on. But Dave Chappelle, another comedian, told him, you are so funny, man. And every time he fell down, he felt sad. He said, Dave Chappelle said, I'm funny. Dave Chappelle said, I'm funny. So, you know, uh, always... Um, give people a fine reputation to live up to. I have uh, my sisters, for example, they are still young, still in high school. I tell them, come on, doctor. And, you know, my sister like this so much. She wants to be a doctor. And when you when you say that to someone, even when they are young and they have a couple of years to get to college, they, they still have this reputation to live up to. It means you trust them. It's a very, very important point, And I like it. This is point number one. Number two, to encourage others to talk about themselves. Now, how many people do you talk to and just in the middle of the conversation of your sentence, they just cut you off. I have a friend like that. He asks me about something. What do you think of this? What do you think of that? And I say, okay, here's what I think. And he's like, okay, so my opinion. And he just cuts me off. I mean, he, you ask me for, for my opinion. And no one you, no one likes the, the person who's always just egocentric. And the conversation and the universe is all about themselves. Encourage people to talk about themselves. So uh, it's not just like, hey, how are you doing? How was your day? But actually, you, you, you sound interested in what they say there also there's a trick which says uh if you want people to continue their conversation just repeat the last two words that they said for example someone say so i went to the gym today and i've seen this guy was doing something weird and you're like something weird uh, yes last this guy was like looking and he was like taking pictures and he's moving around and i thought he's going to do something funny you're like oh something funny and then you know people want to proceed and continue the conversation so this a uh, nice trick there Number three is to become genuinely interested in other people. Now, this quote is really, really uh, interesting. If you want to be interesting, be interested. If you want to be interesting to people, uh, I want to talk to this person, I want to 
uh, be interesting to them, be interested in what they have to say, be really interested and eager to, to want to, to know what they say and remember what they say. It's a very, very important point. And uh, let's consider it number three. Number four, don't resist people, agree first. Now, the purpose of a conversation or a, an argument is not to win an argument, I think I said this before, is to change the, the person's opinion or point of view to let them see something different. You don't have to actually to, to let them uh, believe in something different. Just say, let's agree to disagree. This is your opinion. I really respect your opinion because you have one. You know, you're not flunky. You're not just following the, the current. You have an opinion and I really uh, love that opinion. I agree with you. And, uh, you know, you, you have a pretty good point here. People respect that so much. Point number five, try to appeal uh, to the nobles noble motives that people have now a lot of people uh have reasons you know i want to do this i want to travel i want to learn why why do people want to have something try to understand the motivation that people have and push it from this point you know uh, people like have honesty and fairness and they want to do good try to appreciate the the, the fact uh, that they have these motives, try to push them to do something good. The people really, really love and appreciate and respect the one who respects their uh, noble motives. That's another point. Uh, point number six is to talk in terms of other people's interest, not yours. Now, Dale Carnegie said something funny about this. He said, I really like ice cream, but when I go fish, I put worms into the hook. I don't put ice cream because I think the fish is not interested in my ice cream. So, Consider, you know, selling something to people like, hey, this product is amazing. I like it. Or, you know, if you got to work out as a, as a coach or a trainer, or whatever, you know, this workout is amazing. Uh, I like it. It's not about you. It's not always about you. It's not everything about you. Try to talk in people's interests. Try to see what they like and then appeal to that. So it's a very obvious point, but it's very important as well. Number seven, try to make other people... Uh, feel important and do it sincerely. Now, another quote, I think I've heard it from The Rock. It's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. Make the people feel that they are important. They are an important part of your life. I remember telling people, uh, I need to have your opinion, man, because it's very important in my life. And, and I, I remember the shock for someone saying, okay, wow, my opinion is really important in your life. I appreciate that. So they, they did not even give me their opinion, but they were so happy that I, I just announced that they are so important in my life. And just saying that literally makes people fall in love with you. Number eight is to ask questions instead of giving orders. Now, another point. Uh, hey, did you do that? Did you get that? Whatever. Instead of telling someone, do that, have, uh, you know, wash the dishes or bring me that, you know, just asking question instead of just giving orders. No one likes to, to, to be ordered and just pushed around. Try to have it as a form of a, a, form of a question, you know, in a very nice way. Hey, did you get the thing? Whatever. So making uh, questions instead of orders is really, really nice as well. Number nine is to use encouragements and make the fault seem easy to correct. This is on yourself and on other people. There's a book also called The Will Power Instinct. I think I might get to it later. It says, if, you, if you've done a mistake, if you've done something wrong, do not beat yourself. Do not say, oh, I'm a loser. I will always be this way. Uh, you know, when you, when you say that to yourself, your subconscious mind believes that. And the odds of you coming back to that act are more, are actually significantly higher than the fact that you just forgive yourself, right? Uh, okay, so right, everyone does that. And when you, when you make something wrong, when you make a mistake, admit it as well say okay this is my fault uh i'm sorry you know and and then people will try to to help you and support you actually say okay it's not it's not a problem man uh, everyone does that so try to break that ego and and uh, past mistakes everyone errors you know we are all human and the last point um if you want to uh, be liked by people you must like them first now the whole point is book and communication is the fact that you actually want to have friends and you want to influence people you want to have communication skills you want to be attached you want to be close to people it's just simple just the the genuine feeling that you have you know we are humans we can tell if someone is really smiling uh, it's not from the mouth, you know, like you can have ear to ear smile, but your eyes, you can see from the eyes that people are not happy being with you. If you want to have friends and influence people, 
actually make an effort to that. Just it's so simple. You do not need a book or uh, steps. There are a lot of ideas in this book. For example, try to remember people's names. Uh, it's a very important thing. When I was a teacher, I I did not remember the students' names, and uh, they did not, you know, have any connection with me. And when I tried to remember that their names, it was very very important, and it made a huge difference when I called someone by their names. There are a lot of, a lot of important ideas uh, from this book, but the main idea is that you have to genuinely like people, and you have to tell them that you like them. And I think people are very essential in your life. And you will see when people like you, great things are going to happen to you. I hope that great things happen to everyone who's listening to this and everyone in the world. Uh, as I said, I hope that I would make a thousand books and I would have millions of people. So if you enjoy that, please uh, follow and share and like and do all the beautiful things that you have. Uh, thank you very much. And I'll see you soon.